today for what's in the bag, I have the coolest gel pen kit to share with you. So I waited to open it until uh, I could share it with you. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so this case, uh, I have to say, it, I am so excited to look inside and check it out. So this, uh, these gel pens are produced by Gel Writer. And we're just gonna open it up here and take a look. And holy cowabunga, dudes. This is awesome! So they um, have a little thank you card in there. And uh, so, okay, so about this case, let's, let's see here. Um, I'm pretty sure that it is, um, it has the capability to stand. And it does, look at that. And uh, I bet you, you could put it on end. And is that not the coolest thing like ever? Um, there is so, there are so many colors um, in here. Um, it looks like these are mostly glitters over here um, and then metallics. And then we have some some more glitter oh here these are all glitters and then we have some uh standard uh you know your standard colors neons and then some specialty colors so very cool this case is super sweet i uh, i'm so glad gel writer sent this to us to um test it out so we're going to take a few of these and we're going to test them on some different papers and such and see how they work. So let's see here. Let's do, um, let's do a glitter and a metallic, something metallic, um, something that's going to show up. And here's another one and a neon maybe green okay so i'm gonna t fold this up here put that away and i have a whole heap ton of different papers that we are going to uh we're going to test out today so last week we tested out sharpies on different surfaces so if you didn't catch that uh, definitely hop on over to youtube or last week's blog post and you can check it out all right so um this is a mailer for the a priority mailer and so i'm just gonna cut a piece off of here so something much smaller to work with and let's see how these work do they now these are brand new but the ink is really it's coming off really clean so let's try a different one here so until they sort of get started they're a little funky as you all know but so, but this paper is not that great. Um, it's kind of slick. It, it's silk spun, um, or it, it's similar. It's got like a, a natural fiber in it, so it makes it really slick. Okay, let's take a look at canvas, all right? So, yes, very nice. Even on the rough surface of the canvas, it's, it's coming coming off really well and these guys they have these are absolutely fabulous gel pens they're very smooth so okay 
let's try the cover of a journal or um, a notebook here. And I'm just gonna, you know, color in a couple of these. And again, it's writing on this very nicely, very clean, um, very smooth. And this is a, you know, like a smooth surface journal. Um, it doesn't have any, it, it's really smooth and slick. It's not, you know, rough or anything. Okay, our, our magazine, um, which we tested last time. So I'm just gonna up here in the light area. Okay, so doesn't work too hot, the neon on magazine covers. This um, metallic one works a little bit better. Let's uh, take a look at like a magazine page inside. All right, so way different experience than the cover. Um, very smooth and clean. What about this? Oh yeah, look at that color. Beautiful. Okay, so magazines are a yes. Okay, so now we're gonna try some cardstock. Um, so we have some silk spun um, construction paper, some standard dark, um, you know, dark colored cardstock, and then some textured cardstock. So um, let's see if we can have this show up. So. actually going on really smoothly and let's see if it bled through nope it is not bleeding through all right on this let's use neon because it might show up a little better of course i might need a different green here but again it's still going on really smooth um but you know, it's really muted. So let's try one of these other ones. Okay, so this metallic one is, is come, it really comes out well on this. The neon didn't do too well. Let's try the standard one. Let's see if this, and this one as well. Very nice. Okay, so let's try these guys because um, this is the silk spun construction paper. And again, this is a, a, a glitter. This is a standard gel pen. Looks like it's coming off really nice. How about the neon? actually it's actually not bad um and then this one though you might not be able to see it very well because it's sort of blue on blue but um again all of these are gliding really nicely and you know the the ink is uh it it's on the paper you can see it okay so let's see here what else? we have sticker paper we and 200 pound cardstock so the sticker paper I'll just draw something here and it seems to be going on very smooth again so far we're finding that um the metallics and the regular ones really go on well. So, let's try a neon here. And again, it, it's going on really, really nicely. And let's see here. 
you got good glide, um, clean edges if you want to make um, a nice edge there. Okay, so 200 pound card stock. Um, this is really heavy duty. It's almost like paperboard. Um, so if you want something that is never going to leak through, Sharpies, gel pens, any of that, um, same kind of thing. So let's see if we can, again, very, very smooth. And it looks like the green is a little bit puddly on this, um, like you'd need to go over it um, a couple of times in order to get that because it's, it's sort of, sort of seems washed out. But these standard ones, um, the metallics and the glitters. Very nice. Okay, what else do we have here? We have handmade paper and we have photo paper. So handmade paper, let's see here. Let's see how this works. Now this isn't um, real rough surface handmade paper. It's, uh, it's, pretty, uh, it's pretty smooth for the most part. Um, and I'm finding the exact same thing with all of these uh, standard, standard ones. Let's see if this also, so the, the neon isn't writing. It's not, again, it's kind of puddly on this. And I bet it's going to bleed through a little bit um, after, you know, we get a solid color on there. And the more you go over it on this one, it gets uh, pilly. It, it pills the, so you get all those little, like, round little balls of paper. Um, and it doesn't look like it went through, but it's definitely, like, getting kind of, you know, pilly. A good way to put it. Okay, photo paper. Photo paper does really good with alcohol-based um, pens, like, like gel pens. So I suspect that we are going to find that all of these do really well. And so far so good. Okay, so that neon, again, it is... Uh, it's kind of, uh, it's not really puddly, it's just, it's just not very thick like, like these ones where you have a real thick base. It's a lot, um, it seems a lot thinner, at least when adhered to that. All right, so then we have 65 pound cardstock and regular printer paper. So this is regular printer paper. Um... And so far, these very, very smooth, um, very smooth. Of course, working with printer paper, it's always going to feel every lump underneath the, <laughs> underneath your, your page. And that green really comes out on here. But again, it's kind of a thin, you know, in comparison, it seems kind of thin. Again, it's getting pilly like it was on the natural paper. None of these other ones seem to be doing that. The standard, the glitter, the metallic. All right. So this is 65 pound cardstock, like what you would make a, like a note card out of. So Same thing I'm finding, you know, it's, all of these are very um, smooth. And it looks like on this kind of cardstock, the pilling is not as bad. Um, but 
it's a little bit smoother, but it's still doing it. Um, okay. So, um, here is a coloring page. Um, so let's just try doing, you know, filling out some leaves here. So on the, the coloring paper, which is a little bit more porous, it seems to be going a lot better. It seems like all of the other ones are, um, you know, they're really smooth for the most part. And uh, see, same thing with these metallics, the regulars, and the glitters. The neons, for some reason, are um, they just the ink is thinner. Okay, so now we have a film. Um, the, this is actually a piece of, uh, what is it, uh, x-ray film. So, um, just cut up a piece here. And this is our, uh, we're going to try it on fabric right after this, and then we are done with our testing. So, this stuff acts a lot like photo paper. So, the green is showing up, but again, it's still really, um, really thin. And then we have the metallics, which they're thinned out a little bit. Um, and this glittery one definitely is not into it. All right, and let's try the regular. So it looks like on this kind of surface, the, um, the metallic one works the best. All right, so this is my my fun and funky test fabric. Um, and let's see how these go on. All right, so that went on really smoothly. It looks like it's not bleeding much. This one looks like it's got some bleed on it. You can see kind of a little bit there. Um, Right. So this one is the regular. Uh, this is the metallic. That's the glitter. So it looks like the regular ones go on the best, though the glitter and metallics don't do bad. And it actually looks like the neon does really well on fabric. So this fabric is like a cotton handkerchief fabric. It's not real thick. It's gonna bleed through as you can see. But um, yeah, so looks like it has a lot of versatility, a lot of applications. You can use it almost in anything. And I hope you guys will be back next week for another edition of What's in the Bag. We'll see you then. Take care.